Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. Today is the Cayo Porico DLC day, and I'm back at it with another vehicle review video. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications. I'll be pumping these videos out all day, all week. All right. This vehicle that we're going to go over with the review, performance, weapons, whether or not you should buy it, whether or not you need it is going to be the RO86 Alcanost, all right? $4,350,000 buy now price, $3,262,500 trade price, which you can unlock as a leader by completing the Cayo Perico heist finale using this vehicle as the approach vehicle, okay? So that's how you can do that. You save about a million dollars. But even if you unlock it, is it worth it? Because $3.2 million is still a lot of money. Is it worth it? We will be going over all that. I'll be testing this out, performance, everything, all right? You store it in your hangar. So that is a paywall right there. It's got to be in the hangar for it to be stored. Unless there's something that I don't know where you can store it just however. I don't think you can, though. You have to have your hangar to be able to store this vehicle. It takes up the whole entire hangar. You can't put any other vehicles in there, which is kind of dumb because there does look to be space for at least one more plane, a chopper or a small plane, something like that. But I guess not. As you see right here, it's the extra large slots and you could easily put another plane to the right or to the left side on the screen, to the right side of the plane, uh, your left, but I, whatever. It doesn't matter. No big deal. It's there. Let's go over the customization. You have armor. Uh, you can put on just the typical armor you want. You got countermeasures, chaff, flare. I don't, uh, we'll talk about the countermeasures in a minute. I don't think you're going to have to use any one of them to be quite honest. You know what I mean? There is a feature this plane has, which is unique, but it's pretty much null and void right out of the gate. And we'll talk about that here in just a moment. These are the liveries that you can put on the plane. The liveries are pretty dope. I like them. Not going to lie. They, they look really nice, especially for this type of plane itself. Uh, your primary, your secondary paint, you know, the typical usual stuff. Oh, and don't forget to customize it. You have to have a workshop inside your hangar too. So <laughs> keep that in mind, guys. Stuff, it gets expensive. It really does. All right. So we got all the custom. That's really about it. Uh, you can add bombs on there if you want to. It's got the same bombs that you've always, you know, that we, that we already know. The cluster, the regular, all that good stuff. You can put those on at your leisure, right? So the plane takes off pretty easy. Um, it's got decent speed. I will say it's faster than the Bombushka and the Volatile. Thank God. I mean, it's ridiculous. It maneuvers pretty good as well. It can kind of fly around pretty tight circles. It's got a weird feature where when you tilt the nose up, it wants to climb really fast, but you get stuck in that. Uh, and it's kind of hard to get up and down any, any further. It can turn decently well. It does the same kind of thing on the turn where it'll kind of like turn really quick and really fast but you'll get hung up uh, on the turns as well. With the bombs, they are not unlimited. You do have a limited amount of bombs to drop, so that is kind of a bummer with this. The plane has a feature that no other plane has in the game. It has a stealth mode where if you are above 1,600 feet in the game, as you can tell right here on the altimeter, your plane or this particular plane goes off radar. You can't be seen on radar. And if you go down below that, then you can be seen. However, to accurately really drop your bombs, you have to be kind of lowered. If you want to see the explosions and stuff, you kind of have to be lower uh, than that. And the bombs are not unlimited. So, you know, whatever. Even though this is a stealth plane, you can still get locked onto by a Mark II or another plane at any altitude, whether you're off radar or not. And this thing is so big, it's very easy to be seen. It's really, you know... and you can outfly some of the rockets, but you're not going to be able to escape a laser or a Hydra or a, you know, um, you know, any other really missile or Mark II. It only takes three rockets uh, to destroy this plane, right? So I test it in like a full-on combat type kind of uh, test where you would, uh, you know, turn and, and stuff like that, use your flares. Um, I went ahead and you can call it in from your interaction menu, but it spawns it godly far away. I called, you know, I called Moore's Mutual to get it back after the explosion. You know, of course, the same thing as usual. And then I go to call it back and, <laughs> well, you'll see here in just a minute. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But they might as well just keep it in, might as well just keep it inside your hangar. 
because uh, I don't think there's a lot of locations that I don't think you could just pick this up in the canal like you normally do for another plane, like a hydro or a, you know, like a chopper or whatever, but you know, no big deal. So go ahead and call this in from the interaction menu. And um, yeah, it spawns it all the way on the opposite side of the map. And part of the wing is inside of the mountain. So whatever, no big deal. Just a little weird for rockstar to be doing that kind of stuff. Right. But again, it takes off pretty easy. It's no big deal with that. So it's all right. I thought there'd be some kind of like JTAL, but there's not, don't really need it though. It's okay. And then you know, I tell the crew to you know give me like a full on uh, combat experience here. I let the, I just wanted to try and out turn the missile, and uh, not really effective. Not really at all. It pops out four flares, which are effective uh, with you know deterring missiles. But you're gonna eventually, you know, if you get hit once, it burns out your uh, your engines, and you eventually just stall out, and you can't really outrun anything. I just let this last one, well, I deterred that one. I let the last one just take me down just as, you know, it's honestly, it's just a waste of money. I don't, unless you have to have this for anything, which I don't think you do, unless I'm missing something, even at $3 million and some change, it's just not, you don't have to have this vehicle purely luxury, a big letdown, to be honest. It's just a, you know, another volatile, a little bit faster volatile or Bambushka with actually less offensive capability than the Bambushka. So, and the volatile, but um, yeah, kind of just a bummer on that one. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for coming out of the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah.